Hey guys, how you been? I got a special treat today. I have, thanks to Owen Jarvis, the Lamica Small Forest Hatchet Axe thing, and I am gonna put it to test today, along with a custom-made sheath on, eh, eh, not tea bag for an amateur like me. I hate stitching, so that took me forever. But this also, I am almost certain, is a little Swedish double bit. About two and three quarter, almost three pounds. I ground these both back to uh, just sub 20 and put a micro bevel on it. More than a micro, really. Kind of like a secondary bevel. I will probably convex this over time into each other. Red Elm Killinger Thin Whippy Handle, 28 inches. I'm gonna use this on some of the bigger wood today. Uh, I'll save the biggest wood for bigger axes. Let's get chopping. All right, the first thing I'm gonna take care of is this piece. And this is a perfect ax for something just like this. Whether you're building a bushcraft cabin or just chopping firewood. Couple of hits, takes care of that. Definitely a little sticky in this wood. Okay. Nice clean cuts though. She's definitely a slicer. And I'm telling you, man, it is nice to have that extra half inch. Doesn't seem like much, but just to add something misses. So far, I'm really loving the shape of this handle. It's really thin and uh, kind of round through here. I haven't minded that. Actually, could do it with a little more meat up here if you're gonna use one hand. But this swell fills out the hand really nicely. So I'm liking the handle. I think this is hickory. I know he makes some white oak handles too, but I think this is hickory. You guys will tell me, I'm sure. Obviously, you can get all the specs online. You don't need me to tell you that. I'm just out here having fun. Definitely use it one-handed. Definitely use it left-handed. Get rid of that one here. Nice, slicey, slicey. I'm only showing you guys this because this is out of the box sharp. All of you know, or most of you know, if you sharpen an ax, you can get it to cut that cleanly no matter what it is. But this comes like that, so slice it. I bet it's pretty good at that. I would like a little longer handle for felling, but can definitely do it with this. All right, let's split this guy and see what it does. One pop, stringy. Pop. Uh, you can definitely make it do the work, just like any small axe. This is the good size wood for this size axe, but I am going to get into this, see how it chops. Let's do it. Come on. Not bad, but definitely sticky. that you swing however you like of course but i prefer to stay safe by pushing the handle down on small axes like this you lose a little power but the axe is only going to go into the ground here we 
There she goes. A little punky in there. Is. All right, guys, quickly here while I take a smoke break. I am going to chop a little more with this, but I do want to get that double out. And alas, I don't have much time because I should be doing paperwork. It's always paperwork. But let me say, I am always impressed with ML's steel. It seems to hold up really well. I haven't sharpened one yet. Some of you know I did own the work axe, but I traded Owen for this and a few other things. Uh, the work axe just wasn't quite what I needed in my arsenal, and that's my fault, nobody else's. But I am liking this so far. A little sticky, as you saw, but I am loving the shape of this handle. Uh, the hang I can't say too much about because I did it myself, uh, but from what I could see, there was contact all around, so Lane did a nice job on that. I don't have the sheath, so uh, from what I saw, the sheath was just fine. And this thing is definitely better than the Grand Fours Cross, no doubt. And just because the handle's a little longer and the blade's a little wider, the steel seems about the same. I'm not gonna say much about that. But yeah, I love this and I'm glad I have this over the work axe. This is the one for me. You can definitely do any bushcraft build you wanna do with this thing. I guess we better test it out bushcraft style, right? So that the internet don't hate me. Let's build a shelter. How's that? Think it'll keep me out of the rain? Look, I'm carving. She's a keeper. Oh my, feather sticks all day long. Just joking. But obviously you can bushcraft with this and it's gonna be better than the Grand Fours just because the blade's longer and the handle's longer. Obviously, because of the nature of the short handle and the light head, it's not the greatest felling axe, though you can definitely fell with it, and I definitely will, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, guys, what more do you want to say? Um, i am be honest, I'm quite bored with the conversation of is it worth the money? If you have the money and it's not going to break the bank, by all means, buy it. If you don't, if it's even close, then don't. I think even Lane would tell you that. Don't blow your piggy bank. Uh, on this axe. You can get something else and you can sharpen any axe and make it cut just like this. Yeah, the edge retention might not be quite as great and you're going to definitely have to do work on the handle, but you can do that very easily. But this is the beauty. Nobody's going to deny that these are gorgeous or if they do, they're crazy. All right, guys, I'll see you in a minute. We'll uh, chop some more with this and get the double out. Not right there. Part of it right there. Yes. All right, we're about to go through. There we go. Ooh, in the dirt. Ah, oh, in the creek. Better go get that. Oh, yeah. Try to go right there. Right between these two. Ah, missed. That was better. All right, last bit with the Lamica here. A one. A two. A two. A three. Three strikes to the center of some rotten old punky oak. <laughs> I could definitely 
test this out some more and I will, I will put it through its paces, compare it to things like the Scandinavian forest ax. I don't have the small forest ax, but maybe one day I'll compare it to that. And a couple of other budget options that have a similar shape. But this kind of chopping, although it might not be the kind of bushcraft work this ax is intended for, tells me the most about an ax. That's why I chose something that makes sense for this. You know, I'm not gonna go chopping 12 inch trees down with this, though you could. Let's see if we can give this big guy one whack. Oh yeah, she popped. I bet if I hit it right here, it'll go. There she goes. There she blows, boys. The white whale, the Moby Dick.